The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there lived three little pigs with their mother. When they turned 15, they had to move out of her home as they were too big to stay all inside. Each pig went his own separate way and made their own houses. The first pig made a house out of straw, the second out of wood, and the other of bricks. One day came the big bad wolf, who was feared by every animal in the forest. He came to the first little pig's house and knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, replied the pig. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. And he huffed and puffed and the straw house went down. Then the wolf came to the other pig's home, knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the pig. I'll huff and I'll huff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. And the same thing happened again, and the wood house went down. Then he came to the third little pig's house, who had made his house out of bricks. He knocked on the door and said, Little pig, Little pig, let me come in. No, no, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. The wolf then said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew and blew, but the house could not go down. Little pig, said the wolf, do you know where, where there's the finest carrots and other vegetables? Where, said the pig, in the back of your house there is a yard full of it. I'll pick you up tomorrow and you meet with me. Sure, said the pig. The next morning, the little pig came before the wolf an hour earlier. When the wolf came back to pick up the pig, the pig told him, Sorry, but I already picked up everything I needed. The wolf was angry. The other day, the little pig was on collecting apples when the wolf appeared. He pointed an apple at the wolf and said, You want one? Yes, I do, said the wolf. So, after throwing the wolf for the apple to catch, after throwing the apple for the wolf to catch, the little pig took every chance and ran away back to his home. The next day, the wolf, mad, came to the pig's house and said, Little pig, there's a little fair up there on the hill. Would you like to come at five? Sure, said the pig. When the pig came earlier than the wolf, and when the wolf was coming, he put himself in a lid and rolled down the hill, scaring the wolf, making it to run away. The next day, Wolf, very mad he got tricked again, came to the little pig and told him, Little pig, I am not going to be patient anymore. You made a complete fool out of me the other day. I'm going to get you by going down the chimney. The little pig repaired a big cooking pot, which was filled with blazing hot water. And he heard the wolf's footsteps on the floor, the roof. The wolf came down the chimney and went in and fell straight into the pot with a big splash of water. And that was the sorry end for the big bad wolf. The two brothers who had their house destroyed moved in with their older brother and they lived happily ever after, never worrying about the wolf ever again.